special because they're five years apart, each of them, eh? so they have very specific needs, different tastes in food, different activities, different everything. So, pag 14 yung kausap ko, fumo 14 din ako. Pag 8 yung kausap ko, umi-8 naman din yung ugali ko. Pag 3, maintain ako sa 41. 41 tayo, nanay mo ako. <laughs> so, different rules din talaga with yes. each child. Yes. So, yung iba din talaga, hahanapan namin din talaga yung uh, special day where you get to take care of yourself. Yes. Para ka ma maibalik mo. You can do it all over again. Just to calm, just to calm my mind yes. every single day for 30 minutes going to work and going back home, okay na ako. Nakaka-reset na ako yan. Parang I've, I'm able to figure it out already after some time na you cannot have this. For now. But you can always... One main reason why I accepted the role is because for mental health awareness. Um, it's uh, something that hindi masyadong masyadong kinikilala ng lahat na parang gusto ko sana mas napagtuunan ng pansin na ang mental health issues are hindi pare-pareho. May iba-ibang may iba-iba siyang classification. So this is one of them. And uh, parang basically it's just me saying na don't judge mga people na may pinagdadaanan. Huwag niyo nang dagdagan pa yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. If, if you could help and support them in whatever support they need, we have to give it to them. Mark, in preparation ka po doon. Thank you. for calculation. Yeah, nag-research ako, naghanda ako. Um, I had to watch a lot of documentaries about it because we don't want to give false information to the people as well. Mm -hmm. So whatever they see in Provinciano, it's something that we all worked so hard in researching this type of um, disorder. And at the same time, it's very you know, complicated to begin with kasi masyadong medical yung pinag -uusapan. So since it's mental awareness, we don't want them to see na parang ginawa lang yung character just because. Period. You may, may ganun talaga classing illness. Kamusta ang katrabaho siya? Wala ka magaling siya. Aside from that, how is he as a co-worker? He's very, he's very responsible. He's the captain of the ship. Um, he knows what he wants, that's for sure. And at the same time, he he delivers his message sa paraang maiintindihan ng mga tao. Maybe at some point may mga bagay na hindi nakakaintindi or may mga tao na hindi nakakaintindi sa kanya or mga misinterpret siya. But if you see and look through his eyes kung ano yung parang gusto niya para sa programa, basically, yun ang gusto niya para sa lahat ng mga tao na katrabaho behind ang probensya. And I salute every single person behind this series because you know how hard they work. You see it in their eyes how they respect each other, and um, though it's a very different system, um, it's something that you really have to get used to. First, when we started, how was that? Okay, na man. And so, parin siya. Kailan do ba? Um, hopefully this year. From what I've heard, baka mga September. Sabi naman nila this year, di ba? So, baka September this year. Pero hindi mo na ako mga nga ako sa part na yan. Baka mag-pushback pa yan ng mga October or November or December, January, February. Pero mapapalabas din yan sa awa ng Diyos. Julie, for us for parenting, parenting question ka. Ano yung mga discipline tips? Makasigbay pa sila ng age group, di ba? Oo. Nagbabari eh. Nagbabari ngayon ng paano ba ang... Ang hirap magdisiplina ng bata ngayon. One, because of social media. Two, because ang daming epal. <laughs> ang daming mas nagmamarunong pa kaysa sa aming mga magulang. Um, basically, it's just one thing. No is no. Uh, you just have to be um, firm with that no word and with Brian and me we have this um not naman agreement pero parang automatic na kung uh, na, ano na namin yun na pag sinabi ng isang hindi hindi pwedeng mag yes yung isa kung ano yung punishment na binigay ng isa sa amin yun yung punishment kung bagay yun yung irerespeto ng isa sa amin um it's a uh, it's something na hindi na namin kailangan pag-usapan it was um a chemistry as a parent na basta na lang nag 
nagkaintindihan. Siguro, maswerte lang din kaming nabayaan kami ng mga anak na hindi mahirap pagsabihan, hindi matigas ang ulo. But you know, we have our we have our bumps and turns along the way na hindi naman may iwasan. But I guess that's the challenge of being a parent and raising three beautiful children. Um, with Lucho kasi, nakikita niya kung ano yung mga discipline na ginagawa namin kay Johan. So, nakikita niya na, ah, hindi ko na to dapat gawin para hindi na ako mapunta sa sa sitwasyon na yan. Luna is of course very different because she's just three. Um, she's very smart. Like what I've said, she could be a lawyer at some point because uh, napakadami talaga niya rason. Siya si Delia rason. <laughs> Lahat ng bagay na pwede niya rason, rarasonan niya talaga. Apugano talaga. So doon natitest yung English eh. Yung hanggang hindi ka hindi nga eh. Hindi. Good night. <laughs> Speaking of social media, how uh, anong binibigay mo? Ilang hours? Mo sila inaalaw na mag-social media or gadget? They don't have any social media accounts. Even you can. They are not allowed. Um, I well, ang explain namin sa kanila. You have to follow the rules of, let's say, Facebook and Instagram or whatever social media something pa yung lalabas dyan. That you have to be 18 mm -hmm. for you to be able to create your so own social uh, media account. Um, we have to follow that simply because there are rules and at the same time, may mga bagay kang makikita sa social media na if you start that now, you might not be ready yet. And baka makulture siya. And at the same time, we're also preparing them from preparing them and protecting them from bashers, from people that might harm them eventually. At least pag 18 na sila, they'll be able to, you know, they'll be able to face these kinds of things already. Pag bata kasi napaka, ano pa nila, di ba? Uh, very sensitive. Um, madali sila maniwala sa mga pagay-pagay. Um, time in using their gadgets. Pag weekend, they can use your gadgets at least an hour or two in a day. To maximum na yun two. Nakanood na sila na isang pelikula nun. Pero, pang summer, an hour a day, and then they have to read the book. They have to do something na walang kailangan gadget na, na ginagawa. Or they have to uh, do something at home. At least some activity na hindi sila couch potatoes na. Gusto okay, yung video games? Yeah, Lucio loves video games. Pero kasi pag sinabi mo kay Lucio na, well, um, kayo school time, no video games every school days. He's only allowed to play video games Friday afternoon and Saturday. Sunday, umaga lang. Afternoon, wala na. Miss Juday, sa movie naman po, Mia Abangan daw po ba? Um, my movie with uh, Direk Brillante, yes. Mendoza, um, alam ko, pinapasok niya sa MMFF. That's okay. ang alam ko. And then, we have some, I just, we just received a message from Direk Brillante na may mga iba pang activities yung movie namin na Mindanao. Um, Hopefully by next year, tatapusin ko na muna itong mga ganap sa television at mahihimatay na ako sa pagkakas pagka, pagka nagpilikula pa ako this year. So, one at a time, yun naman yung ano ko sa mga producers. I can do projects but I cannot do two things at the same time. Hindi ko sila magagawa. Miss Jude, marami kasi mga celebrities po na nag explore po na nagpo-produce ng pelikula sa sarili nila. Kayo rin po ba may plano rin po ba kayong gumawa ng ganun project in case? Pag siguro tapos na mag-aaral yung mga anak namin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap pag produce ha. It's, um, siguro, I, ano, I cannot, hindi ko masabi, hindi ako makapagsilita ng tapos because anything really is possible. Um, pwedeng co-pro, pero yung solo na producing talaga, parang naghanap lang ako ng sakit ng ulo, ipupukpukin ko na lang yung ulo ko ng martilyo, okay pa, di ba? Um, mahirap mag-produce, ayoko may makaaway ako, parang mag-aarte na lang ako para sa ibang producers. Kung magpaproduce ako, siguro mga documentaries about food, probably like that lang. Mga small projects lang, not, not, probably it's not gonna happen in a major film or like an indie film the most, uh, Little, ano lang, little shows lang siya. And possible daw po ba, if ever, ma-project with Biolo? 
Lagi namang tinatanong yan sa bawat press ko naman. Okay. <laughs> Kaya na sinabi ko, wala namang imposible. With the right project at the right time, it will always happen. Always happen. It's just that wala akong mapuso ang script. Pero may offer po. Marami. Opo. Maraming marami. Hindi nawawala ang offer. That's for sure. And that I could say. It's just that if I see a project na para sa amin ni Piolo, sasabihin ko naman eh. Mm-hmm. It's just that it's been too long and we do not want to present a movie na basta na lang para lang magkaroon ng Juday Piolo project. Mm-hmm. Habang tumatagal, syempre, mas nagiging kritikan kasi mas gusto kong mas maayos yung takbo ng storya. It should be well worth the wait. And uh, habang hati, hindi pa kami gumagawa ng project, ibig sabihin, wala pa ako nagagusto ang story. Ako, actually, ako ang dahilan. Kasi ako ang namimingi ng project. Okay. Okay. Salamat. Salamat po. Thank you.